customers, and obviously Channing Fry, used to play for the Portland Trail Blazers. First came into the store a few years back and talked about getting involved in the community in a charitable way. Channing's got his little charitable event, uh, We Kick for Kids. It's always has a good cause, and this year going to the Kids Cancer Association. So we thought we should field another team as being a sponsor in the past. There's just a lot of young people out there having a good time. It was just a perfect day for a kickball tournament. Hey, we got to sign this way. Oh, I can't. Right, I'm all in your name or whatever. you know, looking for a unique event to hold in Portland. He was looking for an event that would fit kind of the Portland culture and vibe. And so he came up with this idea of kickball tournament and he wanted to know we'd be interested in helping sponsor it or be a part of it. And we said, sure, you know, obviously you support us as a customer and a friend and we'd like to help support your cause. So we thought we should field another team as being a sponsor in the past and our, this would be our second year of playing. I was kickball king growing up. In third grade, I used to kick it over the fence, the ball would go on the 405 freeway. Man, I was a hero back then. Now it's just like I'm just a dud, just a big, tall, dorky dude with size 16 feet. I mean, I'm out there really trying hard, and it's just, I don't know, I get my competitive juices flowing. And Here we came in with high expectations after having one year under our belt. We'd signed some sweet uniforms and had them made and sent up, so we were feeling pretty good about uh, the fact that we would at least have a good costume slash uniform for the tournament. Oh man, our uniforms this year, we had the headbands, we got our large size socks, dyed them up. I mean, Ben found this dye and we made these bright orange socks with these matching headbands, the wristbands. Uh, it was awesome. We decided to go with the jorts this year. I mean, everybody loves denim shorts. Bottom of the first. Time to put some runs on the board. So that part, I think, we, we accomplished. Going into it also, we knew that, you know, start talking a little bit of shit. Channing's team the Are you ready? These guys are a little better than uh, the last team we played, I think. They take it a little more seriously. I think they've been drinking since six, maybe, maybe 5.30. Here was our second year of play. Uh, we just thought we had a great team out there. I mean, won a, won a game early. I mean, it was a great Saturday afternoon. The sun was out. Uh, the donuts were there. The drinks were there. People having a good time. So well stretched. Feeling good. I had a nice breakfast. Really got a lot of protein in me. I really thought I could kick the ball far. I mean, it's just, it was a great day. It's just our results sucked. kids game it gives you a youthful feeling it's it's fun try to get some girls that are easy on the eyes so really set the play we're gonna at least look good when we're out there playing when you piece together the you know the the orange headband and the wristbands and the, the high socks and all and oh and of course the cut off denim you know the shorter the better is kind of our motto i think people look to us and said hey you know what those guys have style and originality i think we were the best looking team out there Game play, and it's a victory just like last year. Now he helped out.
go but downhill from here. like every year I show up late. I showed up, uh, you know, 15 minutes late pretty much. Way too late because games don't last that long. Uh, missed the first game uh, due to a, a, a sweet, wicked hangover, which, I mean, come on. We all have had them before. I actually wear a size nine, but that has nothing to do with, obviously, you know, what's going on in the pants. The shoe size means you have a small and big like, Whoever decided that that was like, how big was. You know, my is not big by shoe standards. It would be small. And I'm here at Oddball, and I'm looking around at all these guys, and I'm like, he must be hung like a donkey, because I've seen Zach and Seth. In comparison to their body, it's small, but for a male it's pretty much big. They're big dudes, so. But he just can't kick the ball. I mean, the shenanigans are okay, but it's just like, you come out to play on that day, and I'm out here kicking for the kids. And he's out there. I mean, come on, Danger, step up. We scored three runs in four games. I mean, are you kidding me? That's, that's, we, it's kickball. You kick the ball, you run to the base. We couldn't get it. We couldn't get a kick. We couldn't, I don't think we got one out of the out infield. I mean, we had a couple anywhere was caught. Round robin play is now over. We finished a uh, pathetic one and two. In three games, we scored three runs. So folks at home, you can do the math. That is one run a game. Uh, like I said before, one run a game. So we are in big trouble. We've been suntan lotioned up. Right, moved into the only thing that's keeping us going right now is knowing it's for the children. We kick for kids. For kids. For the kids. That's what it's all about.
are awesome. Very professional. Eating while rapping. Get that camera out of my face. Have a comeback. Tough game, but uh, we didn't pull it out. Maybe next time. We're going to the playoffs. Playoffs. That's what it's all about. Playoffs. I'm talking about the playoffs. That's where my wife Feeling. We're, we're uh, definitely the favorites, but uh, never know what's going to happen out there on the kickball field. Get hustle, ball, throw, catch, fundamentals. It's about the fundamentals. We can execute the fundamentals, and I think we'll be okay. Keep our head down, play together as a team, and if we need to, cheat. Trip people in the most polite way. Yeah, if they fall down, they should spoon. And we represent kick. the big footed people of the world. We want to kick for kids. Kick for each other. Kick for mankind. <laughs> Kyle can't swim. I can't swim. Drowning. Drowning. That'd be bad. We're falling out of the sky. If in an, air, in an airplane that's crashing, I'd not be getting it. Two ships are on the ground. So we can win this. It is the afternoon started in the first round. We came against a, a team. I mean, there's a guy in left field, he told me he's been playing kickball for 30 years and he's been wearing gloves for 10 of them. He's making diving, sliding catches. I mean, how can we compete against that? I mean, we're out there doing our best, Diane. It's just like, what are we supposed to do? I mean, I mean, tell me, I mean, what do we need to do for next year? We're gonna keep practicing the warehouse like we've been doing. We've set up some goals where you can kick the ball into the, into the garbage cans for points, for incentives, for work. So we're all in it together, but a one in three record and three runs in four games is not how kickball is meant to be played. I mean, we all know that, we could all do better. But at the end of the day, it's for the kids, and I think that's what people lose sight of who are out there taking it too competitively. It's a charitable tournament, you know, you're out there for fun, it's going to a good cause, you know, and I think that's why we get involved in it, because we like to, yeah, as a, as a business, you want to support good causes, and obviously the Children's Cancer Association is, is a big deal, and being able to give back to that is awesome. For the kids, we're here for the kids. We're here for the kids. Donating to the kids is always a good cause. Playing for the kids. And playing for the kids. So gonna have a little sun rays, huh? So gonna have a little sun, eat a little sun, eat a little sun. So that's about the kids. Hanging out with your friends. Drinking. And winning some kickball games. And drinking. Yeah. But either way, the kicking for kids is a, it's, it's an awesome thing. And as long as it's going on, we oddball wants to be a part of it. You know, the wekickforkids.com is a good place to hear about you know, updates about upcoming events and then when the next dates are released for the kickball tournament. I think people are going to have to start signing up earlier and earlier because 30 teams are out there playing and competing and I think it's going to be a high demand event in the summer. But, you know, you get together with your friends, you put together a team, you get out to a park, you know, on a hot sunny day. It's, uh, it's, and play a game for charity to give, you know, for fun. It's, the, it's, it's a win-win situation. I love Zach and Seth and the whole oddball crew and the, the store and the team and all the people. Um, if I'm asked back to be on the oddball team, I will definitely step up and, and kick some balls for them, with them. And I'll do my best to not drop that one ball next year. I'm coming back with a vengeance. I might even come in a speedo. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs>
you know, and, and things like that. But in other countries, you know, double fisting and, and no look, you know, blindfolded. Um, there's naked Rochambeau, which I prefer not to play just because I don't like to, you know, show on the cards. But uh, I, I like to think I know how to play some Rochambeau.